I'll tell you what, we could use a little comfort food today. Yeah, and Chef Nick delivers, right? Yeah, baby. We're so glad you're here. I'm glad to be Chef here. Chef Nick from Manja, Manja Nashville. And we're talking butternut squash. We're talking fall. I'm it's so here, excited. baby. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. We love some of the pasta dishes that you bring in, especially yeah. this one. It does speak to fall. This is on our fall menu, which mm -hmm. starts this weekend. And I love this dish because it, it is exactly what you said. This is fall. I mean, if you butternut squash, I was going to use some of the squash that you have here. Come to find, Fake. they're not real right. squash. Yes. So I brought my own. So well, this is there you go. this you is start. a really simple dish to make. You know, we always try to keep it very simple as far as the ingredients that we use. So we're gonna get a butternut squash. Mm -hmm. And I remember you and I were talking about how everybody's afraid of these butternut squash. I usually I usually try to work with it once a year and then embrace that's about the squash. It. Make the squash your okay. own. Real simple. What you're gonna do is you get get yourself a potato peeler, right? And you're going to peel the whole thing like that until there's no more green stripes. Okay. Then it's done. Then what you want to make sure is that you have one end of it, and this is, just happens to be, one end of it is flat so that it doesn't roll around on the no, board. Nice. And that's the thing that people fear the most about this. It's hard to cut into it. It's hard to cut into it. Yeah. And I always tell people, what the first thing you do, get that nice spot on your board and then cut it in half and make it more manageable pieces that you can work with easier. Okay. Always want to use with a flat surface. So what we, what so we did. So do you cut it into pieces and then roast it? I cut it? it into cubes. I toss in a little olive oil, a little bit of salt. Beautiful. Put it in the oven on a sheet pan okay. to roast it ahead of time. You could do this a day ahead of time if you want. Keep it in the fridge overnight. And then what we're doing basically here is making a brown butter sauce, okay? Mm. So that it's a little tricky on electric, but you can do it. Put okay. a little brown butter, a little butter in the pan, yeah. and we want to get it to where it's foaming like that. So it's really getting to the point where it's it's just right. Looking good. Now here's a little trick for you. If what it gets this? too far ahead, this is beautiful sage. Ooh. So smell that. Mm -hmm. Tell me that doesn't wow. smell like fall. Love that. So we get some fresh sage in there, right? See how the butter's starting to brown now? Right. Here's a little trick. If it starts to go, it's tricky to get that butter just right. If it starts it to is. go to, to the point where it's going to look like it's going to burn, throw some ice cold butter in there and whisk it around. Oh. That's like putting on the brakes in your car if you're coming down the hill gotcha. too fast. Ooh, yeah. now I'm sorry. So it, it just hit me a little bit. It's just right. Oh, thank you. So nice. Perfect. Yeah, so we're going to dump that, dump that squash okay. in there. Here we go. So this is, this is such a simple pasta to make, and it's so, like you said, comforting. I mean, this is just like... The mm. awesome I mean, you, thing for the fall. I, mean, I love when you do that. That just I love when me. I do it too. Yeah. Sometimes it goes everywhere, Impressive. but today I got lucky. And so I'm actually <laughs> kind of glad about that as well. So this, remember we were talking before we started, my grandmother used to call that a skolabast. <laughs> yeah, a skolabast. It, it's a colander yeah. for pasta. If you don't have one of these tools, you I need would the skull of Boston it, in your house. This, this is my go-to. So I love much it. Better. It's so, so much better. better. Yeah. So don't be afraid to get a little water in there. Because then you save the pasta water. Absolutely, and because, because use we it. want to use it with all that starch. Gives it some a thickening. A little bit of sea salt in there. Mm -hmm. That's going to make your sauce up. I'm going to put mm -hmm. that down there. Be careful. We're going to hit it with a little bit of sea salt, and we're going to do this again. <laughs> See, I told you I was going to lose it it's eventually. Fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. See how beautiful that That's looks? Beautiful. I mean, how many that doesn't look like the most beautiful wow. fall dish you've ever seen? So and then nice. we're Boom. done. Into the pan. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that brown so, so fast. So you do the squash ahead of time. Ahead of time. Put so it in a Ziploc fast. bag in the fridge. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit Thank of Parmesan. You. This is uh, I knew you. there was cheese coming. This is always cheese, baby. I Come was on. a little worried because I saw it sitting here and I thought, what, why would you bring and it? And this is, gonna tease me look how long it took that. us to do that. I mean, literally two minutes. Right? The, thing, the most time-consuming part of this recipe, like I said, is cutting the butternut squash. Cut you it into peel cubes, it first. Peel it first, peel cut it, first. it into cubes. Maybe, make sure your cubes are all the same size because you want that... That, that squash all cooked at the same time. How much oil did you put on it before oh, you... Oh, very little. Just okay, a little just bit a little of olive oil. Okay, yeah, and, nice. you, and if you have too much oil, you, you just take it out with a, you right. know, just scoop it out, the squash out I'm like right. Tell us what's going on at Manja. This is new to the menu Fall this menu weekend. Fall menu starts this weekend, this oh, Friday and Saturday. 538-7456 for reservations. You can make them on an open table now or Aww. just send us reservations at manjanashville.com. Come and hang with us. This is just one of the dishes. Mm. It's all about mm -hmm. the comfort. It's I mean, th fun. this menu is like a mm -hmm. big bear hug. Oh, it's so good. If there were an Italian bear it's in so the good. restaurant <laughs> hugging you. You're our Italian bear. We, we love it. you. <laughs> Manjanashville.com, everybody. Check it out. Manja's on Craighead Street in Berry Hill. Go play some bocce. Hang we out We needed this guy. today. Tell me about Thank it. Thank you. I'm going to eat all of that. Yeah. Mm. Yes, indeed. And that would be a good choice.